Yeah, man, it's the 11th of April, 2024, and I want to talk about this gang stalking stuff for a few minutes, and this will be one of those kind of videos that will attract the gang stalkers in the comments, where this will be one of those where they're saying that, um, you know, we're schizophrenic, and, and uh, wouldn't it be better if we just took our meds, and um, we should probably go see seek some help, and... Um, you know, or, or calling us some kind of drug addicts or something like that. That's this is the kind of video that that they like to come out and say that kind of stuff because they don't like when I start talking about some of the deep realities of gang stalking. And the reason that um, I thought about talking about this stuff is because I was sitting there um, on this job site at about, I don't know, almost four in the morning. And suddenly they started attacking my head real bad. And I had like broadcast embedded all around my eye socket and all upside my head. Right. And just doing all kinds of things where they're saturated into my body with broadcast and they're, they're doing it to hurt me. And, you know, and I thought about a few things and I actually wrote down a few things right here that, um, you know, the broadcast headache. How many people out there uh, probably think they got a real bad headache or some sort of medical problem um, or some kind of issue with their body when really they're under attack from broadcast? I'm sure that the numbers are real, real high for people that have that kind of thing. Um, let's talk about some weird stuff, okay? Remote neural monitoring, neural monitoring in general, okay? Um, this is something weird that they do, okay? If if a gang stalker gets access to your neural monitoring, then they will put what they call a monitor. This is their, their words, right? They'll put a monitor on you, okay? Which will be a broadcast representation of themselves on you on your physical body somewhere and they'll call it their monitor. Okay. And anytime they feel like logging on or getting on mind control, and I'll talk about that in a second, they can connect with their monitor that's on you because they've accessed your neural monitoring. They have their neural monitoring and they've went onto your neural monitoring or, um, or collaborated with whoever is controlling your neural monitoring to allow them to make this connection where they're allowed to put their broadcast on you. And when I say like they get on mind control. So, and th this is a, also really how you can tell when they're starting to do like a live stream uh, or, or something like that. Because when uh, I got class coming up, but too much stuff going on. Um, when they're starting to do a live stream, okay. And that's when they're on mind control. And when you say, or when, when I say they're on mind control, you probably get all kinds of different ideas going through your head. Like, are they, you know, like mind controlled and you just have them walk out into traffic. If that were the case, they'd already be out there in the, tr in the middle of the expressway, wandering around, just waiting for that moment. Um, but that's not, that's not what that means. What that means is, a uh, couple of things. One, they can receive your neurological processes. Okay, they might talk along with you or say out loud to you what you're thinking. Okay, and then if you're new to this, they, they will act like that would be the um, the moment where they act like y'all are buddies and you're real in tune. Like, yeah, we think the same, man. You know, and you think something, they'll just kind of say something related to that and then act like you guys are just two peas in a pod, right? And really, they're receiving you. They're, and that's a form of mind control. And they love it. They love to receive your neurological processes, especially if you're intelligent and they're not that intelligent. Okay, so now you're now they're receiving something that they couldn't fathom up on their own and because their mind doesn't work on on the the level that that you are okay so you're more advanced than them mentally and if you're more advanced than them mentally then when they receive your 
neurological processes, it, it's comprehensive to them and it's enlightening. It's, it's like mind blowing because they're enlightened because you think on a level that they're not capable of thinking on their own. And now they can receive you in a comprehensive way. And it's, and to them, it's almost like they're thinking it themselves. So like, imagine like if, if you could just, um, suddenly do something that was out of the reach of your normal capabilities. And you'll be like, whoa, that was the baddest thing ever. And that's how they are. And that's why they're addicted to mind control in that way. They love it. Okay, another way that they do mind control is those, those broadcast hologram avatars or what they would call a monitor or even just a hologram broadcast that's anywhere. It doesn't have to be on you, but they can connect to a broadcast. All right. And that's when they're on mind control. When I say they're on mind control, they're, they've got a thing on their head. It looks kind of, you, you can find stuff that looks very similar online. If you type in like uh, BCI or mind control uh, headset or something like that. And, but the things that they have are like, you could fall it up, put it in your pocket. Um, I've seen, I've seen one that has like a, a little wire onto a little black box that they could like clip on their belt or something like, and, that's probably just like the, the battery power of it. And maybe it could program like certain frequencies on it or something like that. But um, it probably has some kind of little Wi-Fi or something built into it so they can put the right program to it. Because I also have also witnessed that they can share one. So if it's on my neurological frequency and I'm wearing it, then I would probably have to have it tuned to on the Wi-Fi connected with my neural monitoring to receive that particular frequency uh, to emit that into my mind um, because it would have to be on their frequency. So it'd have to be, it, it, they couldn't just receive random anything that's floating around out there. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know, but I know that they can let somebody else borrow one because I've seen that happen. I've seen somebody else use a different person's um, mind control. That's what they call it, the little headset thing, the mind control. And the ones you'll see on the internet will have like wires and stuff all over the place bundled up going over to some computers and all this stuff. It's not like that for real. That's what's available for us to see publicly on what's what's what they're admitting to be existing on the internet, okay? But in reality, uh, these things that they have are very minimal. They're very minimal, and they just have these little emitter knob things on them. They put it on, it's got some straps, it comes around under their chin, and they'll have these little covers things that go over their eyes or not, I've seen it both ways. And uh, I believe that the eye covers have something to do with broadcast when they're brought on broadcast when they're connected to a broadcast because when they have all that on they see okay what what they receive okay that's what they see so so it's like when when people say they see from your eyes okay they see what you see and they can see what you see but they don't see from your eyes they see what your mind has perceived from your eyes okay but if you close your eyes and you imagine a, a big pink dinosaur, then that's what they'll see. They can see what you imagine. They can see what your mind processes. Okay, so if you're dreaming, they can see that and they can receive all of that. But if their own broadcast is connected to some broadcasted hologram, okay, if they're on mind control connected to a broadcast like that, um, and I know it gets confusing saying broadcast this and broadcast that. And there's so many different things that broadcast means in this conversation. Um, but when they're connected with their hologram avatar broadcast, they could see the view from that, you know, and then, and they can, they could, uh, broadcast a blob of, of EMF waves against a mirror or some sort of reflective surface and receive that as a view, like, 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 like that was some eyes or a camera and they could receive that back. And that's how this technology works. And, all of that's possible is and it's the kind of stuff that they do but let me talk about these live streams for a second okay because um these guys that that i deal with um for the most part these days they're the deranged psychopaths that are, are abusive and they use the technology in horrible ways and to be a gang stalker yeah it's horrible okay but 
I, I, I would um, admittedly say that all of the gang stalkers that are out there, they're, they're not all violent, okay? Just like all people aren't violent. And if you go around the world, like everybody's not violent. And uh, even if even if they had the opportunity to be violent without getting in trouble or without getting caught or without having anybody be able to defend themselves like these gang stalkers that are violent, like they have that circumstance. You can't do anything about it. You can't come after them. You can't find them. You can't defend yourself. They can just attack you violently and you can do nothing. OK, but even with that sort of circumstance, they're not all violent, just like people in the world are not all violent. And you have to have some faith in humanity that uh, all people are not violent and all gang stalkers are not violent like that. And a lot of gang stalkers, they put on probably some pretty entertaining shows, um, you know, watching people that are going bananas about being targeted and hearing people talking to them and thinking everybody's out to get them and all this different stuff. OK, but the ones that stick around after all the fun and games are over and all the the stories are played out and everything and you've calmed down and you've come to accept what's happening and you've come to grips with everything and the ones that stick around then the psychopaths the violent ones the ones that just want to hurt you because they just do because they're sick because they're mentally sick um those guys uh, they put on these live streams and you can always tell as soon as they put on the mind control thing so they can control their uh, monitors or uh, broadcast hologram avatars connect with those things. And you can always tell because they'll just suddenly out of nowhere, you'll just be getting physically attacked, like violently attacked. And there's plenty of those around, but the majority of people are not that way. And so when they're doing it like that, um, you know that there's not a ton of people on your neural monitor. They probably got a few deranged psychos around here and there that can log in over the internet and, and become part of, or at least observe, watch their live stream of them torturing you and attacking you. But for the most part, um, those are the dead live streams, man. When they start attacking you and physically hurting you, you know, there's not that many people involved because, uh, even the gang stalkers would be like, stop doing that, you idiot. You, you just want to hurt people. Like, and that makes them feel stupid and they look stupid and they don't want to look stupid in front of all the other, uh, gang stalkers that aren't completely violent and obsessed and cowardly and sick mentally and just being abusive and all that. But, um, another thing that, that you should know about when they go on broadcast like that, um, it's almost like dreaming. OK, for them. And and I'm just telling you this from my experience of dealing with them. OK, not because um, I'm absolutely 100 percent certain because like I've done it or something like that. It's it's nothing like that. It's just I've dealt with them. And what they call it is uh, catatonic. They say they they're they're catatonic. OK, but uh, and you can kind of notice how they're less coherent or reasonable when they're on or when they're doing a live stream they're attacking you i think they're literally asleep like like this like in a dream kind of subconscious state like if you ever knew somebody that got too wasted on pills or alcohol or something they just didn't make any sense or or people that say all the things that are like how they really feel deep down but they would never really say it uh in in a normal circumstance but they get real wasted and then suddenly they're saying all this stuff and and you know, acting out their subconscious um, in a way that like you would have never witnessed otherwise. And that's what being on mind control, it like does something to them, puts them in this halfway dream awake, like halfway asleep state. And when they're like that, it's not that they don't realize what they're doing. Okay. I'm not going to try to make an excuse for them like oh well they're just half asleep and they don't know they're being abusive they know okay and they they put this content out there and do these live streams and they do it again every day and every day and every day for months years decades okay so they know exactly what they're doing and they, they make a conscious choice to go into a subconscious state where they know they're going to be physically abusive and attack people because they do it every day consistently for many many hundreds and thousands of times. So it's not, 
it's not something where it's like, oh, you know, they were just, uh, they didn't really know. Like, it's not like that. Okay. And, and even if it is like that at the moment, okay, they still make the choice consciously to do this every day for thousands of days in a row. And when I say that, I'm not exaggerating. I've got guys that have been on my channel, on my neural monitoring for three, four thousand days straight. Okay, and this they just love mind control. They're they're mind control junkies. They love to broadcast. They love the power that it gives them. And you know, let me let me just look through my little notes and make sure I talked about everything that I want to talk about. Um, yeah, pretty much. You just got the those are the psychos that are left. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So. Uh, these are not the type of things that they want you to hear. And I don't talk about the bizarre side of it as much now as I used to, but they were attacking my head and my eyes and stuff real bad. And of course I was like putting a bright light up to the side of my head to try to disrupt their broadcast. And it does help, but you can't just walk around life with a, you know, holding a light up to your head. You can't do that. And, uh, one of the, 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 defenses that I have is to come out with these videos and talk about it. And I know they hate it because <laughs> like it or not, um, you know, a lot of gang stalkers are probably mad at them. I know they got to catch some kind of backlash from being the idiots that have stayed on somebody's neural monitoring. That's so public about telling everybody what's really going on. I, not all the stuff that I that I talk about, especially the wild stuff. When I'm telling you, like they're they're getting on these mind control things and connecting with broadcasts and all this stuff. These are not things that I make up. Okay, these are not some wild theories that I have. You know, like people will tell you, oh, oh yeah, it's the it's the deep state agencies and and you're in this program and and they're hired by the by the government or something and they get gift cards and like all this stuff that's like i i've been around gang stalking people i know some gang stalking people i know a lot of things about it and i've never had anything that makes me think any of that is any of the truth uh, i mean of course the government knows about it of course the the agencies know about it okay but if if anybody was to ever come out and confirm the existence of this don't you understand how that would change society with every person said whoa 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 you mean uh my thoughts aren't safe you mean there's people that could see me when, when i'm privately with you know in the shower you mean everything i think somebody else can know that i mean it's a you if you've been through it like those first couple years man it's a it's a huge burden and a wake up call. It's like you, there's no secrets. You can't have a secret. You can't do anything, man. You're just stuck in this horrible situation, having to come to the realization that all this stuff is, is true. And like, and, and, and you don't have anything immediately that you could do about it. It's very, very difficult, man. And it, it's going to be, a uh, the biggest revolution of mankind's history when that day comes. So don't expect it to just happen suddenly. And if you're really wanting to get your neural monitoring, I wouldn't be waiting on the government or anybody else to help you. If you want to get your neural monitoring and stop them from doing this kind of stuff, they have to understand what's really happening and how it's really happening. Everything that they do is revolves around um, the Internet and satellite systems and secret applications and like modified applications. And... Um, you know, I, I posted a picture on the communities tab earlier where when they were attacking my head and I just took a picture of my head and did some quick edits and Snapseed for like like a two minute edit with like a few little settings with the f frequency isolations and stuff. And and if and I'll make it the thumbnail for this this video. It's like you could see like this strip of like jumbled up graffiti looking letters and it's just bright and like pops out at you, you know, and it's that's an advertisement for them like, hey come check out this live stream, you know, come, come watch my live stream. Here's the FTP or the, the IP or the website or the underground, whatever, you know, and come, you, you'd have to go online to access those kind of things. And, you know, you would have to have your computers configured in a certain way to even get on that kind of stuff. And, 
uh, like network stuff with computers is probably the most important thing to dig deep into like networks and how all that stuff really works because hacking and all that kind of stuff is really all about like network stuff. I used to think it was a lot about like coding. And when I started going to school for computer programming, thinking like that's the move, but like, I wish I would have really, cause I've been taking some classes, you know, and I'm, I'm going to do cybersecurity and a lot of network stuff too. And I've, I really have come to realize that uh, I should have decided to become like a network engineer right from, you know, six, seven years ago and already be very advanced with that. And it, it, it it's the ticket, man. It's really the ticket. There's other ways. I mean, like with light spectrums and, you know, learning about radio or different kinds of waves and what you can do to expose different light spectrums and receive different kind of waves from the air and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot to learn, but um, I think, honestly, I think the quickest way to, to get to the bottom of it all would be uh, to become like a, a network forensics scientist, you know, with computer systems. And, and that would get you everything you ever needed to get your neural monitoring and understand how this all works and everything. You learn a lot, man. And not to mention it could get you one hell of a career and get paid a lot too. Uh, and you wouldn't be like wasted away like they want us to be. Um, another thing with those advertisements, you know, when you do the quick edits and they're attacking you, if you take a picture and you do an edit and, um, you know, a lot of times you'll see the, the Facebook F, you know, and I see it a lot and I've posted that in my, um, communities tab and pictures a lot, the, the Facebook F because a lot of the stuff that they do, the live streams and stuff, they put a lot of that stuff out with face on the Facebook platform and they they like modify Facebook applications, make like custom applications and then they'll have it like hosted on you you ought to get into the developer side of of some of these like Google and Facebook and stuff like that. It's deep man. Um and they they just had somebody that handed them like, you know, hey, let me show you how to get on this neural monitoring thing. And here's how you have to configure this and that, you know, and and I, I saw somebody going through the whole process, you know, where they were not a computer person at all, but suddenly they were on Android developers and having like virtual, virtual devices on their iPad, like had a virtual Android on their iPad and a hosting package and all this, uh, what is it like the XD developers and, and Android developers. And they were like on these sites every day, all the time and they're like consuming their life. And, and I didn't know why at the time, but later, you know, when I when I knew that they had become a gang stalker and I realized why that was happening, because they were figuring out how to uh, how to ob not to obtain, but how to um, maintain neural monitoring, how to have it without without it being like on your regular device or how to have it. Um, you know, and they were like logging into somebody's remote server somewhere. And so it's like. It get man, it gets deep, and and there's a lot going on with it. But you can figure it out if you start studying this kind of stuff and just start from the beginning and really dig into it for like a couple of years. I mean, otherwise they'll do this to you for ten, twenty years. I promise they won't go nowhere. They'll they'll do it to you forever. So it, you might as well, um, you know, decide to go through the process of years long uh, studying and and learning because it's just going to help you anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the whole thing with like the, the advertisements, you know, and broadcast is so crazy, man. If you're on neural monitoring, like all the different ways I might say the word broadcast, like they're doing a live stream broadcast or they're doing a EMF broadcast live stream online. They're putting out the live stream, streaming it of their EMF broadcast, which is their holograms uh, attacking us and. And, you know, they're receiving broadcasts and broadcasts and broadcast. It gets confusing. I know, um, you know, even like even like on a on a scattered clouds day, just look at the cloud, look at a particular cloud and focus on it. All right. And if you're on neural monitoring and you've got a bunch of people on your neural monitoring um, broadcast, they they whatever they have come into you that is unconsensual, what they've sent to you to your neurological uh, frequency, like it's meant to be seen subconsciously, you know? And you're, you're not meant to, to notice it consciously. You're meant to notice it subconsciously so it can mess with your mind. And it's like when um, subliminal advertising, you know, where like 
a single frame in a movie would be popcorn or, or a drink or something, you know, and, and it would make you want to go get some popcorn at the movie theater. And they, that was a real thing, you know, and they, and they made it against the law, but neural monitoring is, is like that too. And so you're meant to subconsciously see what they want you to see. And they'll try to broadcast a bunch of things to you to just to mess up your mind all the time or to drive you crazy or make you angry or sad or something like that, you know? And, um, but it's odd because where you focus is where, where that stuff will be at. And if you focus on the cloud, that broadcast will evaporate that cloud. And if you don't believe me, go out on a cloudy day, not overcast completely, but where you could see particular clouds and choose one, choose one. This is why I started my YouTube channel years ago. One of the things is because I realized when I looked at a cloud, it would evaporate and all the other clouds around it were fine. And I could just look at a particular cloud and it would evaporate. And and I could kind of see the swirling around little broadcast stuff in it, you know, and and I come to realize how how all of that worked. But if you don't believe me, then go outside and try it. Try it. Look for less than five minutes. You can evaporate a big fat cloud if you focus on it. Don't look away. Just focus directly on it and melt it right away. And it's not magic. We're not sorcerers. It's not anything like that. It's literally because they have all of this stuff coming to us on broadcast and you, you can control it to some extent by looking a certain way, you know, and that's a div another kind of broadcast I'm talking about with like broadcast this and broadcast that. I know it's confusing. I know. Um, anyway, this will be the, one of those videos where they'll uh, call us all psychos and say that, um, you know, I must be some deranged drug addict that does all kind of horrible things and i should probably get help or take my meds that's that's the comments we'll get in this one and i know that because every time i put out a video talking about these real truths i get a bunch of gang stalkers that that for whatever reason just happened to be watching my channel today trolling the internet and decided that they were gonna uh verbally attack some person for something that that they they don't believe in right uh, but here they are on my channel telling us all that we're crazy um, because because here's the truth, you know, because we're we're here and the truth is coming out and they hate it. They hate it because and, and they're that's their fault. They broke all the rules. If somebody understands it this well, they're not supposed to be targeted. They're not supposed to have five or six idiots attacking their body with broadcasts and blah, blah, blah all day, every day. Like, what kind of idiots, man? And you know how many gang stalkers or people that aren't even gang stalkers that just have their neural monitoring that probably use it responsibly or just use it to turn off and protect themselves and their family? There's probably so many people out there that have neural monitoring that are so upset with these type of idiots. But, um, you know, can only speculate to what's going on on the other side. But... Um, you know, that's a, that's a temporary thing. And I'm sure of that. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know it's bonkers. I'll see you guys on the next one.